Turbine Turning Gear Motor, the unsung hero of steam turbines. Welcome back to my YouTube channel I am Engineer Umar today's video, we're diving deep into one of the most crucial components of any steam turbine system, the turning gear motor. Though it's often hidden in the background, this small motor plays a massive role in the health and performance of your turbine. 1. What is a turning gear motor? NAR, a turning gear motor, also called a barring gear or jacking gear, is a low-speed drive system connected to the turbine rotor shaft. Its job To slowly rotate the turbine rotor when it's offline or in cooldown mode. Why slowly? Because turbines are massive machines, and when they stop rotating, they don't just rest, they sag. And that sag, known as rotor bowing, can damage internal clearances, seals, and even the entire machine. 2. Purpose of Turning Gear Motor Narrator the turning gear motor keeps the shaft rotating slowly, around 5 to 20 rpm. To achieve the following objectives. 1. Prevent rotor bowing. Thermal gradients in a stopped turbine create uneven expansion and contraction, leading to rotor bending. 2. Uniform cooling. As the turbine cools, turning helps in even heat distribution, avoiding thermal stress. 3. Avoid seal rubbing. Without turning, the rotor could bow and rub against stationary seals and diaphragms, leading to expensive wear. 4. Ready for quick start. In emergency situations, turning gear ensures that the turbine is closer to start conditions. 5. Lubrication of bearings. Slow rotation ensures oil film stays evenly distributed over the journal bearings during standby. 3. Construction and working principle. Narrator, a turning gear system is typically composed of a small electric motor, typically 3 to 15 kilowatts, reduction gearbox for speed control, pinion and bull gear arrangement, engagement system, manual, hydraulic, or automatic, interlocks and control circuits, gear motor engaging with rotor shaft. When engaged, the small motor connects via gears to the turbine shaft and slowly rotates it. A torque limiter prevents overloading. Most systems use automatic disengagement when the turbine speed exceeds a set threshold. 4. Automatic and manual engagement. Narrator, turning gear systems can be either manual or automatic. Manual engagement. Common in older systems. Operators physically engage the gear after shutdown and disengage before startup. Automatic engagement. Modern systems engage turning gear as soon as RPM drops below a safe threshold, usually below 5 RPM. They disengage during startup. Automation improves safety, eliminates human error, and ensures the turning gear works exactly when needed. 5. What happens if you skip it? Skipping the turning gear cycle can lead to catastrophic issues such as Rotor bowing Vibration during startup Misalignment of couplings. Bearing wear. Seal rubbing. Permanent deformation. Repairs for rotor bending can cost millions and lead to weeks of downtime. All of this can be prevented by a simple gear motor. 6. Operation during shutdown. When a turbine shuts down, the rotor doesn't immediately stop. The turning gear waits for the speed to drop, usually below 5 RPM, then engages automatically. The gear rotates the shaft for 6 to 24 hours, depending on machine size and cooling rate. 7. Turning gear in different turbines. Narrator, let's look at how turning gears are used in various turbine setups. 1. Steam turbines. Used extensively to prevent thermal bow. Standard practice in power plants. 2. Gas turbines. Less common, but used in large frame machines during maintenance. Chapter 8. Interlocks and Safety Systems Narrator, turning gear motors come with several built-in interlocks for safety. Electrical interlock, prevents turbine start when turning gear is engaged. Speed interlock, only allows engagement below certain RPM. Oil pressure interlock, prevents operation without lube oil. Movie camera, control panel simulation showing interlock system. These ensure that human error does not lead to major accidents. Chapter 9, Maintenance and Common Problems Narrator, like any mechanical component, turning gear systems need proper maintenance.
Common issues. Gear tooth wear. Motor burnout. Shaft misalignment. Engagement pin failure. Oil leakages. Maintenance tips. Check oil level in gearbox. Inspect gear teeth and motor brushes. Test interlock functioning weekly. Ensure engagement mechanism is free moving. Movie camera, technician performing maintenance on gear motor. Chapter 10, Case Studies and Real-Life Failures Narrator, let's explore real-world failures caused by neglecting turning gear usage. 1. Thermal Bow Incident, 660 MW Plant, India Rotor was not rotated for 18 hours post-shutdown. On restart, massive vibration occurred. Result, rotor removed, sent to shop. Downtime, 35 days. Gearbox Turning gear motor overloaded due to improper disengagement. Bull gear sheared. Turbine startup delayed by 12 days. 3. Seal damage, 120 MW hydro steam hybrid. Rotor sagged, caused rubs in labyrinth seals. Mechanical team had to replace full seal casing. 11. Technical specifications, sample. Narrator, here's an example of a typical turning gear motor setup. Parameter value. Motor power 7.5 kilowatts. Output speed 6 rpm. Torque output 2500 newton meters. Gear ratio 300 to 1. Engagement type hydraulic plus manual. Disengagement speed 5 rpm, automatic cutoff. Oil used, gearbox, ISO VG220. Integration with control system, DCS. Narrator. In modern plants, the turning gear motor is integrated into the distributed control system, DCS. Of DCS screen showing turning gear status. Operators can monitor. Motor status. Vibration. Gear temperature. Oil level. Runtime hours. This makes monitoring and diagnostics very easy and reduces manual intervention. How to test turning gear system. Every turbine shutdown should include a check of the turning gear. Here's how to test it. 1. Simulate low speed condition, 5 RPM. 2. Observe engagement of gear. 3. Measure current drawn by motor. 4. Check shaft rotation direction and smoothness. 5. Test interlocks and alarm. Summary and conclusion. Narrator. Let's recap why the turning gear motor is one of the most important safety and maintenance devices in a steam turbine system. It prevents catastrophic rotor damage. Ensures safe and balanced cooling. Reduces startup vibration. Extends machine life. Saves downtime and repair cost. Never underestimate this small motor, it protects equipment worth crores. A small rotation saves a giant machine. If you learned something valuable today, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Engineer Uma for more.